What is going on, people? Joey Talks Boxing. Let me get this out of the way. Tyson Fury, Francis Ngannou. Uh, so first off, I didn't see the fight while it happened. I was interested in buying the fight. Uh, thought this fight was a joke and it was just some gimmicky nonsense. I had heard that uh, Tyson Fury had gotten dropped by Ngannou. I saw the clip and I was like, wow, this is so, this is bad for boxing. This is just crazy. So flash knockdown, no big deal, whatever. Uh, then I ended up watching the whole fight later last night i started watching some of the fight i got one of these things on twitter or i forgot where it was and i had just seen originally the eighth round and i'd seen the third round where he got dro dropped and i watched it with no sound on it because i heard that the commentary was biased by nate diaz he said that timothy Brett and uh the the commentary was biased so i said no sound i'm not gonna do any sound I'm like okay cool i was so bored during the fight first of all the fight was a terrible fight horrible just forget even about the winner or loser part just the actual fight itself was not exciting but like just light work in the gym and sparring uh i was scoring the fight first five rounds i gave fury rounds one and two obviously Ngannou dropped him in the third round then four and five i gave fury i was so tired last night you know i was doing other stuff and i was so bored in the fight the sound was on i was falling asleep as i was watching i'm like you know what i'm gonna watch it tomorrow i'm going to sleep i'm gonna watch the rest of it tomorrow so i woke up today and that link that I saw it on, that wasn't available anymore, but someone else had it. So I watched it. Then I found another link. You know how it is. And I was able to see the remainder of the fight. Uh, to be completely honest with you, I don't see the controversy in, in Ghana winning. I thought the only rounds that Ghana won were rounds three and eight. But regardless of that, Tyson Fury should be ashamed of himself. He should be embarrassed. I hate using these words for someone who's so great and such a great fighter like Tyson Fury. But that was pathetic. He either did not take the fight seriously or he was just off horrible he came into the fight looking fatter uh in the way and he weighed nine pounds more than he did in um chisora his rhythm was off he was not sharp and credit to Ngannou because Ngannou did come to win he was trying hard and he did land a good left hook uh, i don't think fury was ever seriously hurt with that left hook but i think that he uh you know it was a flash knockdown he was able to get up uh, i i think that fury though it was an embarrassment and now you're gonna have all these mma fans saying you see that's what happened when our guy got a chance to fight your best guy. Uh, really embarrassing. Tyson Fury embarrassed boxing. And he represents the sport of boxing, whether he likes it or not. So this was horrible. Uh, after the fight, they say that, you know, Fury and Usyk, December 23rd, was supposed to be on. And then Frank Warren and Tyson Fury are like, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You know, part of me just wants Fury and Usyk to just get over with December 23rd and you know, I'm, I love Fury, but I got to be real. I just want Usyk to win and just put an end to this Fury nonsense, this this chapter in the heavyweight division. But I think that Fury won the fight clearly. It was not very good boxing. Uh, and Fury's one of these kind of guys that is very inconsistent, and he needs to be doubted to do well. He was doubted versus Klitschko. He won that fight. He was doubted versus Wilder the first time. He should have gotten that one. He was doubted the second time, and he should have been able to, you know, he won the second fight with, with uh wilder you know he was he was you know supposed to win versus while doesn't look good he's supposed to uh, you know beat wilder in the third fight and he doesn't you know uh he he does this thing you know loses the you know almost lost the fight sorry i got disrupted rudely by somebody so my mind is a little bit thrown off he needs to be doubted. He's like Tifimo Lopez. When there are expectations, he doesn't do well. The only time he ever rose when there were expectations was when it was Dilla White. And he knocked him out, and that was more about Dilla White not showing up. He did not take this fight seriously, and if he did, he should be ashamed. And even if he didn't take this fight seriously, he should be ashamed. And if he wants to go the route, Tyson Fury, that, hey, I didn't take the fight seriously, then you know what he's doing? He's admitting to trying to scam the public. Because what he's admitting to saying is, you guys are stupid. I thought you were dumb enough to buy a fight with me in Nganu, and that you would buy this, even though I thought that this fight was a joke. So he should be ashamed of himself. Horrible, horrible, horrible shame, unacceptable. And Tyson Fury was embarrassing to the sport of boxing. With that being said, though, I saw people talking about Ngannou's future in boxing. I, I don't think he's able to beat anybody legit. Uh, it wasn't so much that Ngannou was good. It was just more that Fury was horrendous. And even a unmotivated, horrendous Fury was clearly still outboxing easily. You know, Ngannou wasn't even doing anything in the later rounds, so... Yeah, I thought Fury won clearly. A bad night for boxing. Let me know what you guys think. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Peace.